everyone and welcome back for another scrapbook layout. So this is another kit that I am using that I made with the little mini kits that I made out of the doodle bug so much fun line and this was um, with all the taco stuff and I only have one picture idea so far for these papers but that might be actually be a good thing and you will find out why. So. I started off on this adventure and um, I hope you guys like this that um, I am going to go in one direction and not like it and feel completely uninspired and instead of just finishing the page which I was like I'll just finish this page I just won't like it as much but then I decided no I'm not gonna do this I I don't like it it's I'm not gonna like the end result so um, you will see I'm pretty much going to start all over. So you will see that coming up here pretty soon. So um, in the beginning you saw the I was using I'm trying to follow a sketch that was one of the page maps and I think it was August 2018 and so I was going to go ahead and follow that sketch and I'm going to get a little ways into it and then I'm going to decide that it's just not working so I'm taking my photos I have trimmed these two photos down and they are four by four I believe um, or fairly close to so I um, these are two photos of my son um, long time ago gosh I can't remember the year but it wasn't long after Taco Bell came out with their Dorito taco shell and um, my son I think he saw a commercial or something and he decided that he wanted to try this taco and he didn't give up on wanting to try this taco so he bugged us quite a bit and um, so we ended up finally going there one day and so I thought just for fun I would go ahead and take pictures of him giving it a try and he loved it he wanted them all the time after that <laughs> So I took a picture of him trying the taco and then one of him um, with a thumbs up to it. And um, you can see that these taco papers are obviously perfect for this. So I knew right away when I saw all this that I wanted to go for it. So this is what the sketch called for. It called for a pattern paper background and I was going to try this. I really, I liked the... I like the background on this one and I and I know I use a lot of white cardstock backgrounds but I really do struggle when it comes to busy backgrounds so I'm playing around here with adding a few things in um, as far as the papers go there was still some of the six by six but um, there was not a whole lot that really coordinated super well with this collection so I took that scrap that was from leftover from the hamburger papers with the yellowish background and I added it to the back of the photos um, just on the left hand side because that's all that would fit but I thought it added just a little bit of a little bit of interest to that side of the photos and then now I'm gluing down everything at this point I don't think I've inked any edges um, which won't end up being a problem anyway so I glued everything down and I really wanted to use this um, big title sticker that said talk about fun and this one says talk about awesome and I really wanted to use those just because well one thing that I thought was really great was the green in my son's shirt it's like it almost was meant to go with these this pattern paper because there's the prop the little pops of green here and there so um you can see me I'm trying out a few different things I'm not sure where I want the title to go I want a journal because I want everybody to know that this is what we were um, this is what he was eating and stuff and here's where I just I I'm like no I'm I can't do it so I decide to look for another sketch and I liked this sketch better and so you're gonna see me here I'm just gonna literally rip everything up and off <laughs> so as far as the taco paper, I tried not to rip it too much, but you can see it got pretty ripped there. I can still use the red side, but I I knew it was just one piece of paper, and so if I can't end up if I don't end up using it on something else, you know, it's just a dollar, so um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And I think one of the mats from behind my photos ripped too so I think I have to do remat that um, I'm trying to see if I can use this that same paper uh, on this 
new layout, we'll call it. <laughs> I was trying to see if I could use the same one, but I think part of where the rip pieces are uh, won't go very well, So, and it would be seen. So now, so I just got out the second sheet because I had two 12 by 12s of each, and I still have the other one there. I don't know if I'll use it. This is the only layout that I make with this kit, as far as I can remember. It has been a couple weeks since I've done this layout. Um, but I love how this one turns out so much better. It it really, um, it I yeah, I liked it a lot better. It was easier to do, um, and I feel like it just turned out way better. And I liked also that the sketch called for a couple strips here in the top left, and so I do end up using that small border strip that I cut from the 6x6 six six border strip sheet. Um, so I'm going to, I think, I, I believe I end up, I think I cut it down a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that I end up using that in the top left. So, so now I'm liking how everything's going. And so I do end up inking the edges now and I'm using the brown close to my heart chocolate ink that I love to use. And this orange one, I almost decided to, I debated on using which on which side to use, um, but I ended up going with this little more subtle one because I knew I had a lot of like little embellishments and stuff I wanted to add around. I didn't want it to be too crazy busy. And then I'm also going to use this border strip and I like that it's a brown color and it's different colored than the pattern paper. Some of them were the same colors as the pattern paper and so I felt when I tried to use them on layouts they got a little lost. But I just added a little um, banner edge to it. And here's where I'm going to add the that little top strip to the top left. And I wanted to add a little bit of orange up in that corner too. And for the end of those, you can probably see in the video, I just cut the ends at an angle just to give it a little bit of added interest. And I'm going to try to tuck this little orange piece in underneath um, the this little brown piece, but it's going to be, it's it just didn't want to go because of the adhesive that I had put on the brown piece so I just laid it kind of next to it so I really like how that looks I love the look of little strips um, in the tops and bottoms of pages but I don't usually remember or to think or think about um, doing them so um, now I'm gluing down my photos I it looks like I didn't um, I might end up cutting down one of the photos it seems like I do something to the photos or, but we'll see. It's, like I said, I apologize. This was a, a couple weeks ago that I made this video. Um, and so I really wanted to use this talk about fun. But the red, when I tried using it on the layout, that big red border was just too much for me. And so I trimmed it down. And if you look really closely, there was some little green dots all around it. Um, and so I kind of half, well, they were circles. And so I cut it so that it would cut through the circles. So there was, now there's like a little small border around that talk about fun of the little half of the circles. So um, that is pretty much going to be my title. Originally, I was going to call it the just the page Dorito Taco um, since it's what he was eating. But I go ahead and I just leave it with the talk about fun. And now I'm just going to play with the embellishments. In the beginning, I only use like the burrito and the taco embellishments, but you will see in the end that I end up adding a few nacho chips and stuff around. I, I wanted a little something more, and I thought, why not? It's all, you know, that type of food, so it all kind of goes together anyway. So I pulled out some of this ink, and I believe it's an orange color. I thought I showed it to the screen, but I can't remember. It is a Mr. Huey's, and I'm just adding some splatters around. Um, I used to splatter all of my layouts, and I've realized lately that I haven't splattered much at all. And so um, the last few layouts that I've been doing, I've been taking my inks out and splattering on the pages, and I love the look. So I'm going to go ahead, that one taco there is one of the Doodle Pops, so it's got quite a bit of dimension on it, and I had two of those. Oh, it came they came two to a sheet. Um, I was going to say, I don't remember buying two, but those were two to a sheet, and it's kind of cute because the eyes are like epoxy, and the tomato in the taco is like an epoxy color, um, 
So I like that they're adding a little bit more to their Doodle Pops rather than just the cardstock. And there's so much dimension to them that they're a lot of fun to play with. I think because I had moved this run around so much that I ended up going ahead and adding some large glue dots to the back of it just to make sure it stayed in place. And sorry about my head popping in the screen there a bunch. So I have a cluster. Um, I don't really follow. I have a cluster there in the left and then I'm making a cluster here on the right as you can see. And I liked that little sticker. It, it's a quote. It's from their um, ephemera pack that's just words and phrases I believe. And I can't see what it says on the screen here but whatever it says goes really well with the burrito and I, it looks kind of like the burrito saying it. So I really liked having that next to the burrito. And then I did Ah, excuse me. I decided to add a couple pops of red around. I had put some of the red hearts in with this little mini kit when I was putting them together because there's red on the pattern paper from the hot sauce and stuff. So I'm going to add just a little few pops of red around and I'm just playing again with more of the embellishment, seeing what I want and where I want it. Um, I ended up adding that hot stuff, I think it says, sticker up in the top left cluster. So that would bring the red up there. And these are the enamel shapes. Um, I think they call them doodlebug sprinkles, not sure. But um, so now I'm adding them around and you can see at this point, I'm still basically sticking to just the tacos and the burritos. Um, but you will see I'm going to add more in a minute. And I don't follow where on the sketch, I don't follow where they kept their embellishment clusters, I don't believe. Um, I I'm, I'm kind of made my own cluster areas, but I do that a lot with sketches. I'll just start off. Mostly I use sketches, I think, for where to place the photos and the papers. And after that, I kind of go off on my own. So um, I forgot that I had left this in here, um, my journaling there. but. This will give you a little idea on my journaling. I need a good journaling pen. If anybody knows, I've got a couple different black ones. Um, I'm not blown away by them. They write okay, but I, I just, if you guys are watching this, leave me a comment below if you have a really good journaling pen that you love. Um, I would love to know what they are. I do like to have the different sizes, so that's an even bigger plus if you guys know of a company. I've tried quite a few and I bought these thinking that I really liked these. I don't know what they are. I'd have to look at them, but um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind letting me know below what you think is your favorite journaling pen and I might try out a few because I need to find a better journaling pen. So now I'm back to the enamel shapes. Now that I've done my journaling, I wanted to finish my journaling because I wanted to add a little cluster there on that banner, end of that banner piece, and I didn't want it to cover up my journaling. I didn't know how much area my journaling would need. So, oh yeah, and also on these enamel shapes, there was little olives. <laughs> and I hope when people look at the layout in the future, they realize that there's olives, but I kind of just used them as though they were enamel dots and because they're round and black and I used all of them that were on the sheet and I just sprinkled them all over the layout. Um, I made sure to keep going until they were all used up. And so I've added a couple enamel shapes by that banner and then I'm going to add that taco there. And um, just looking around, you can see there's quite a few embellishments left over and so I'm trying to use up as many as I can because like I've mentioned, I don't really have any other picture ideas at this point for these products. Um, I don't know if I'll come along some more or if I won't, um, we'll see. but. I didn't really want to use a bunch of the hot sauce stuff. I did end up using a couple of it, but it wasn't like it was a spicy taco or anything. And I didn't really call, want to call my son hot stuff. So, <laughs> but you will see how I changed that. Um, so at this point is this is where I thought I was finished. I did add that little strip with you guac my world. I thought that was kind of cute and it brought the green down below really well. And then I was playing around when I thought the layout was over and I realized that these enamel shapes cover or they're almost the exact same size as the shapes that are on the pattern paper. And so I'm going to take this entire sheet of epoxy or enamel shapes and I'm going to place them over all. I'm going to find I'm going to try to spread them out all over that pattern paper 
but I just love the way it looks and it just adds a little bit of interest to the pattern paper and it also uses up the enamel shape so that I don't have a whole bunch left over. And I just like that it, it's it's so subtle that you don't really, you know, your eye doesn't go straight to it, but it's it's just a little fun added element to the page. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap up the layout. I think there is a close-up picture of the enamel shapes on the pattern paper here in the end if you're interested in seeing that up close. So I do end up using all of the enamel shapes on this page or that little that little sheet of them anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the layout there. You can see one of the little nacho chips. Um, I really like how this turned out and don't be afraid to start over if you need to, if your page isn't going and you're not feeling inspired, it's not going well, just go ahead and, um, and start over. And I love, I'm so glad that I did. You can see the little olives there. So, all right guys, talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.